Welcome back again guys and in our last video we talked about data structures, we began looking into data structures and we talked about lists. In this video I'm going to talk about another type of data structure called a dictionary. So in real life dictionaries consist of words and definitions. In Python it's fairly similar I guess. In Python we call these words and definitions keys and values and we create a dictionary using curly braces. So uh, similar to how we'd assign a variable name or a name to our list, we'll call our dictionary whatever we'd like to call it. So if I call this one food, use the equal sign and open my dictionary using curly braces. So as I mentioned, we have keys and values within the dictionary and we separate these keys and values using a semicolon. So if I had a list of different types of foods and I wanted to just um, assign a value to them dependent on whether anyone liked them or not, I guess. Um, so typically within dictionaries, we utilize uh, strings or numbers. So I'm gonna use strings in this dictionary. And if I just begin the dictionary here, so pizza, and then use the semicolon. Uh, let's say we love that, who doesn't love pizza? And then we separate uh, individual key value pairs using a comma. And if I write broccoli, and of course I need to use quotation marks. So, I'm sorry, I can't spell today for some reason. So broccoli, semicolon, and we'll just, yeah, write yuck. Who likes broccoli, right? Um, if we just have one more, and I'll write lasagna, semicolon again. And yeah, all right, there we go. So that's our dictionary. And we have three key value pairs within this dictionary. So we have pizza, love it, broccoli, yuck, lasagna, yum. So once we've assigned that, we can simply print the dictionary if we like. So we can use a print function and pass our dictionary into that. And if I run that, there you go. We'll just see our dictionary printed out there. However, the benefit of using dictionaries is that we can extract individual key value statements and so if I wanted to say for instance uh, extract uh, individual value for whichever type of food I wanted to see so um, say I wanted to extract value of broccoli see see whether we like broccoli or not uh, I pass my dictionary into the print function and then within square brackets we pass we pass whichever key we want to within that so if I pass broccoli into there and I run that you can see we get yuck um, so we utilize the square brackets after calling the variable we've assigned our dictionary to and we passed the key that we want to retrieve the value for uh, as I mentioned keys are typically strings or numbers and yeah I mean this can come into use for a variety of different functions so say we had a login system and we needed to assign passwords to usernames uh, a dictionary is perhaps one way that we do that and the world I guess is your oyster and the world is your playground I guess when it comes to what you could possibly do with dictionaries so you guys have a think about that I'm going to go have a think what I can make the next video about and I'll catch you in that next one